is Messy Bun Getting Things Done Day, otherwise known as My Kitchen Day. So today I am going to do as much as humanly possible, at least for this human, in my kitchen to set myself up for the days, weeks, and months ahead. So what I'm doing is a big long list of different kitchen things that need to be prepared or made. I'll show you my list and we're going to go ahead and get started. I have lots of food to do. <laughs> and it's now 3 o'clock. I meant to start way earlier in the day, but as mom life goes, things didn't quite happen that way. So we're going to do what we can now. And knowing me, I probably won't get through my entire list, but I'm thinking that perhaps if I don't, I'll film again tomorrow or whenever it is that I do finally complete my list because I've got a lot of things to do. So I'm going to quit chattering, I'm going to share with you my list, and we're going to get started. Okay, so here is what the list looks like. Um, I'm going to grind some coffee, hard boil some eggs, make my husband some egg McMuffins. I hope to make some chocolate chip cookies. Um, I have a recipe for some sweet potato muffins and also some banana oat muffins that I want to make for my kiddos. I'd like to make a couple versions of salad dressing. So one, I want to do um, a honey mustard type dressing. It's a Trim Healthy Mama recipe and I want to put that over chicken and then um, the other one is a ranch dressing. And whatever chicken I have left over, if I do have more left over, I'm going to just throw it in the crock pot to shred to put into the freezer for, um, you know, salads and things like that for after this week. <laughs> um, I'm also going to make a lazy lasagna this week, and so that is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe, and um, it's a noodle lasagna. It's delicious. My husband requests it all the time. And I'm going to do the prep work for that today as well. So basically it'll be just kind of browning the meat and um, getting that all ready to go. And we're going to have tacos tonight, so I'm going to um, brown up the hamburger for tacos. I'm also going to make a meatloaf. And yes, I'm going to make my own ketchup. I don't mind buying sugar-free ketchup. I just can't seem to find it right now. Everybody is um, buying it up and the, the shelves are empty at the stores I've been to. So... We're going to attempt that and we'll see if anything else kind of comes my way. I do need to prep some veggies. Um, I want to make, I have a cabbage and I also have carrots, so I would like to make coleslaw mix. And then also I've got um, lettuce to make a salad and broccoli and um, cauliflower and different veggies to prep. So that needs to get done as well. Okay, so let me share with you my setup so far. I pulled down a couple mixing bowls that I will use throughout my kitchen day to work with. This particular mixing bowl I'm going to use as a garbage bowl. I'm just going to throw all my scraps, any papers, whatever, um, into this bowl rather than trying to scoop them into a plastic bag or just directly into the recycling or garbage. I'll deal with it all at the end. It's just going to be easier to be able to just kind of dump everything in here. So I have that bowl. I've got my list in my cookbook. I have got my iPad for watching some YouTube. I pulled out the coffee because I'm going to work on that first. I also finished up some dishes. I've got my coffee going. And I've got, I cut up this lemon to use with water throughout the week. I like to have a glass of lemon water in the morning. I have got some butter softening for the cookies. I think I'll probably make these around dinner time or after. Sometimes it's just easiest for me to bake the cookies after the kids have gone to bed, so I'm just leaving the butter out to soften now. And then for my sweet potato muffins, what I did is I put my sweet potatoes in my crock pot and I let them cook overnight. So what I do is I line my crock pot with some foil because sweet potatoes, when they cook, can get very caramelly and it can make a big mess. So to save myself some time, I just line my crock pot with the foil and then I put them on low overnight. So in here are six sweet potatoes and I have had them cooling. Um, the recipe calls for, I think it's three sweet potatoes. I have six in here. The other six I'm going to peel and just mash up and put in the fridge to eat throughout the week for dinner sides and also for lunches. Next, I'm going to just fill my sink with some hot soapy water and get it ready to wash dishes throughout my cooking process. 
I'm going to start with my Egg McMuffins first. I've got some butter here in my pan. I make fried eggs every single morning practically for breakfast. It's kind of my specialty. So this is going to be super fun and very quick and easy. I'm going to do two packs of um, English muffins so that will be 12 sandwiches all together. And I've got my dozen eggs here. I put um, four eggs into my pan at a time so it will be a pretty quick process. I'll also be cooking out the egg. So sometimes um, when you make fried eggs, of course you can like make them sunny side up or once over easy. But to make it um, easy for my husband to eat, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm going to cook the, the yolk out so he doesn't have to worry about like dribbling and all of that. I'm also going to pull out another pack of eggs and get my eggs started hard boiled. and get them ready. So what I'm going to do is make sure that everything is cooled before I actually assemble the sandwiches. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started now. Here I've got my eggs ready to hard boil. on dinner. I'm way late on starting dinner, but we're having tacos, so that's super simple. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to portion out my ground beef right now. Um, this big old pack. Okay, so I am going to use my food scale. My food scale. Um, and I am going to portion out enough ground beef for my meatloaf also for tacos tonight and what else is on my list my lazy lasagna and I may freeze a pound depending on what I have left I may either freeze a pound or I'll double the recipe for the meat for the tacos I'm all over the place I really need to get this done so I'm gonna start I'm gonna portion out for the tacos and then figure everything out and we will go from there
here is where I'm at. It is 6.20. We had a stop for dinner. We had tacos. Um, and so what I've done here is I've bagged up the rest of the lettuce. I have squeezed out as much air as possible. And I also stuck a paper towel inside to help with the moisture. I got my husband's lunch ready for tomorrow, so he'll have um, some tacos. Uh, so here are wraps, and then inside here I've mixed the ground beef with the cheese. And then I've got lettuce and some tomatoes in here. And then depending on what toppings he wants, like if he wants sour cream and salsa or just salsa, I'll make another little container with the, um, the condiments that he wants. So I pulled my ground beef out of the fridge and I'm going to make up the meatloaf. That will take no time at all. I drained all of the fat from my hamburger. This is for my lazy lasagna. I just need to add some spices into this. So I'm going to add those in, mix it up, and then stick this in the fridge for later in the week. So my sweet potatoes are um, out for my sweet potato muffins. I'm thinking that I might hold off on making the muffins this evening. I'm getting a little tired and we still have to do bedtime routine and I have some laundry and things to fold. So I'm thinking that I'm going to hold off on the muffins and maybe the cookies. Um, I still need to grind up the coffee and I think that's about it. Oh, the ketchup. I might hold off on the ketchup and the dressings as well. I think I'm just sort of winding down for the evening. Um, I knew my list was quite big and had I started earlier in the day, it wouldn't have been such a big deal, but um, I'm gonna finish up for today and we'll see where I am in a bit. muffins came out they were wonderful super duper moist the flax meal on top sort of is reminiscent of actually like brown sugar um it was I don't know they're delicious this is the last one left Colt's gonna have it for his lunch he calls it a cupcake and he's quite excited I um, have half of a batch in the freezer still so I can pull those out well, I guess probably today, or I can just hold off for another time, but this was a delicious recipe. I will leave it linked down below so that you can try it out with your family. It was wonderful, and it's awesome to know that I'm getting um, some vegetables into my kiddos and also some flax meal, which is really healthy for them. We're done. We're done. We're done. I'm excited to have all of this stuff prepared and ready to go for the week ahead and to also be able to have my freezer stocked with some things that are going to be healthy options for my family and easy options for me because goodness knows I'm always looking for a few shortcuts to make mom life a little bit easier. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of video and I hope to do more of these. In fact, my goal is to kind of do them every grocery haul, um, to prepare the foods that we have and to make the homemade ingredients that I want to have in my home for my family. And if you like that, I'll film and take you along with me. So anyways, if you're new, when I, new to my channel, please subscribe. We'd love to have you here. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.